Hey, what's up, YouTube? Matt here, and I'm just hanging out in the closet. That sounded weird. Not that, not in that way. I'm literally in the closet. But, anyways, um, I just got the iPhone 6s, and I've I had a, pretty much every iPhone before that, and I've had I had the iPhone 6 for a couple months before that, and I used it pretty heavily, like the same thing. So. Once I got the iPhone 6S, I, I was just noticing that, like, it was getting super hot in my hand during normal stuff like video calling or driving around at nighttime, um, listening to music. Like, it was cold outside, and the phone shouldn't have been getting hot. Well, at least I thought, didn't think so, and I'm like, wow, that's, I don't like it. I had I so used to having the 6 in my hand, I immediately noticed that, like, during the same usage... That's, it was different, right? And also, it seemed like the battery was going super fast. And at first, I just accepted it as chalked it up as a loss as the 6S's new processor and more RAM, all that. I don't know if it has a different battery, but I just said, well, it's more powerful. It's going to get more hot. And I mean, that's that's classic theory for, for anything, really. More power, more, and when no new cooling system is going to get more hot. So... I was just kind of boned about that, and then I searched a couple internet articles, and you know, close all the, the usual, close all your apps, uh, uh, close all your apps, restart your phone, yeah, I, I do that on normally anyway, so, and then one other suggestion was uh, restore your phone, or re reinstall the software, software update or something like that, and it's like, that one I could see maybe working. So, what I did was for I I don't use iCloud. I backed my phone up first using uh, iTunes. Just plugged it in with the cable, backed it up, and then I went into privacy or yeah privacy and did uh, erase all settings, all set erase all content and settings. And then that brings your phone back to where it has like hello, start the new iPhones. And then once once you have your phone, you know, then I restored it again. And that's that solved it for me. And I think that would do it for most people. If it's something that you seriously am noticing, I mean, you seriously are noticing like constantly like, your phone is getting super hot. It's not hot out. The only time my phone has ever given the overheating message was in direct sunlight, California weather, like a hundred degrees, making videos, and that makes it was hot in my hand, and I understand why. Uh, but not like if it just getting in the batteries just going super fast. It's probably this somewhere in between uh, getting the new phone and restoring it and then getting a software update that was available it got confused like i did it out of order something got cor either corrupted or confused i don't really know mu too much about writing phone software but something got messed up because once even though i was re restored to a backup that was made of the pro of the the of when the iphone iphone was uh having problems like i will test a test for this like i i made a backup of my phone while it was having the problems factory reset erase all content reset all settings get your phone open started you know so it's so it's basically a brand new blank iphone plug it into the computer restore it to that one and let it restore let it finish plug it up to your computer and let it do its whole thing don't take it off early don't just let it sit there and finish its whole thing and then after that it's like day and night my phone hasn't been hot one time since then uh the battery is way longer on it than it was before. It was dying like halfway through the day. Like I was barely even listening to Pandora. Excuse me. And it was dying. So like uh, that, that okay, hopefully you, you got those basic steps. But I would definitely try doing that if you're having that problem. Because it was something I noticed. It wasn't normal. It wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be getting that hot or dying that fast. And it bothered me. So I... If you're one, if you okay, close all your apps, restart your phone. Yeah, I tried that, obviously, but the so basically, back up your phone, factory reset, erase all content and settings, 
get the phone blank normal, and then restore the backup and let it complete finish. And that should fix it, honestly. It, it worked for me. And if you have any questions, I, I like to think that I know a little bit about iPhones or computers in general. Uh, please check out my other videos. I review movies too. Uh, and any comments or anything like that, I appreciate it. Thank you.